Okay, up for auction is a Mutoscope, the old mill machine. This is the five cent model. There were one cent and five cent versions of this machine. This is the five cent model, probably the uh, the later model of the two. But uh, as I've only seen penny ones before, this may be more rare. I'm not sure. It says in the Silent Salesman Two book on page 79, it says the old mill. Even though Rosenfeld Manufacturing Company and Mills Novelty Company manufactured earlier versions of a windmill type machine, it was the International Mutoscopes, the old mill, that really popularized the machine. It spawned copycats like the Circus, the Scoop, and another aluminum model of the old mill made by Mills. I have found two different chute covers, a windmill and a horseshoe. Now what he's talking about is the chute cover, and I'll show you right here. This is the horseshoe. You can see the little horseshoe right there around the the candy chute. We had one of these before for sale. Uh, it, it did very well in the auction. It was a penny version and it had damage to the base that had been repaired. Now this one does not have any damage to it. It appears to be all original. This five cent chute you can see right there it says International Musicope Real Company in New York City. Turn knob to right. That's the knob right there. It says the old mill on top. It appears to be all original paint scheme. There's the lid on top to access the uh, where you put the candy. We do have the keys to this machine. I do not know if the locks are original. One of them is a Chicago key and lock, and the other one is a Illinois. It says Illinois on it, key and lock. The Illinois is to the front, and the Chicago is to the top. I'll open up the top here. You can take it off. It's very hot because it's been in the sun, right? <laughs> uh, this machine works beautifully. All you do is you put a nickel in the coin chute, push the coin chute in, turn the handle, the knob right there, and the windmill will turn. And what it has on the windmill are little scoops. You can see behind each, each wing of the windmill has a little scoop, and it scoops the candy up to the drop, which is right there. And then it drops down into this cup here, and you push that down, and you would get the candy out. We do not have any candy in this machine, but I will show you it running. Give me a second to get a nickel. There we go. Take a nickel, put it in the coin chute, push the coin chute in, turn the windmill, and it locks after one rotation or one uh, semi rotation. One scoop full of candy. We, uh, like I said before, we put Skittles in the machine and it worked very well for that. Now I'll turn the machine around, show you the back, and then I will also take the front off and show you that. Apparently this machine was owned by Mundvies. It says right here, America's Finest Arcade Machines, Mike Mundvies Corp. I'll put the... Uh, camera on the tripod here for a second while I turn the machine around and open it up for you. This is all original. I do not know if the locks are original. You just turn this lock 90 degrees. You can turn it more, but 90 degrees will open it up. Lift up and out. And you can see the whole mechanism on the back. There's the inside, the original coin box. Um, you can see the base on the inside is in very good condition. There's no, no cracks or welds done to it. Case is very nice original condition, and so is the mechanism. 
turn the mechanism over here. What I'll do is I'll put a coin chute or a coin in the coin chute, push it in. Coin drops down into there. Once you turn this over, it's going to release the coin and start to turn the windmill. And the coin will drop down into the coin box. And that's all you get. One partial turn for a nickel. This is what the, the vend uh, area, you lift that up and then you pour the candy in there and then it comes out the front and you would get served out of the front there, the front section. If you have any questions or comments, please give us a call or message us. Thank you.